Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I study the word. So when I do um, show you guys all these Bible journaling processes and I do these um, illustrations in my Bible, I never really show you guys how in depth I get into the Word of God and how I get into studying the Word of God. So I thought it would be nice to show you guys. Um, this is my illuminated scripture journal and it's the book of Psalms. And if you follow me on my Instagram, you will see that I am doing this 150 days of Psalms and I'm taking one Psalm each week and I'm going in order and I'm studying that Psalm and then illustrating it in my Bible. So today I am going to be studying um, Psalm chapter 3 and you guys will be following along here with me. So I have some of these Crayola mini markers that I'm going to use to write in my notebook. So here we are. We're going to start uh, by opening up to Psalm chapter 3. And it says, save me, oh my God. And we're going to go verse by verse. So I like to start out by putting a title at the top. In this case, it's going to be Psalm 3. That way, if I go back to my notes, I know the study that I am looking at and I have the right notes for that study. So I can, you know, go back to this. And I like to point out the verses that stand out to me the most. In this case, I really love um, verse 3 in this psalm. It says, But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I also really like verse 5. Alright, verse 5. I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. And I also really like verse 6. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around all right so let's go ahead and get started and break down these verses that really stood out to me so verse three the first thing that i really liked that stood out to me is that part that says but you O lord are a shield about me so let me just jot this down. This is the part of the verse that really stood out to me. Or you can write out the entire verse just to help you. So let's do that. Let's just jot down the entire verse just so we can really focus on the parts that stand out the most to us. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head okay so that part lord you are my shield that's what i can take from this verse lord you are my shield and what could that mean what does a shield do so i'm um, just thinking here right that a shield protects so it really is saying here in this psalm that lord you are my protector so i also looked that up in the uh, dictionary um on my phone in google <laughs> and it has a very nice um meaning on under one of the meanings uh, or definitions and it says that it's protection from danger or unpleasant situations which that really stands out to me i know that sometimes in life we have many unpleasant situations uh, dangerous situations and this psalm is saying lord you are my protector from those unpleasant or dangerous situations so the other part of this verse also says my glory now what could that mean so i also took 
um, took that to the dictionary. And glory as a verb can mean to take great pride or pleasure in. So I take great p- pride or pleasure in the Lord. Okay, so the last part of this verse is saying, lifter of my head. So when I think of the opposite, you know, of having my head lifted is my head being down. And if my head is down, I could feel defeat. I could feel like I have no strength. I could feel shame. So... This um, part of the verse is saying that the Lord is my shield, my glory, and the lifter of my head. He uh, takes away all of the fear, all of the shame, and he gives me strength. That's what I can really see in this part of the verse. And I'm just going to switch to another color. I like doing this um, just for just for fun because I like separating the verses um, in different colors. So I know, you know, which one is, is which, you know, separate them and break them down. So the next one that we are going to consider is verse 5 because this is the one that really stood out to me. And it says, I lay down and slept. I woke again for the Lord sustained me. So I made a little note here because I found that reading verse 4 kind of helped me with verse 5. The verse before that, it says, I cried aloud to the Lord and he answered me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke again for the Lord sustained me. So I laid down and slept you know, feeling peace and trust in the Lord. And if we look at the verse before, like I said, it says that I cried out to the Lord and he answered me from his holy hill. So that is why I can fall asleep feeling peace and trust in the Lord. That even though um, I am resting, you know, God never rests. So even when I can't see him, he still working in my favor and i can trust in that and i also can feel peace and knowing that he is still working in my favor all right now let's flip around to the next page for verse 6 and this one is pretty self-explanatory there's not really a lot to it um, but I do want to read it for you guys it says I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around um, so with this one I'm still going to take note of it even though it's pretty self-explanatory because it's a verse that stood out to me. So what I can say is that I will not fear anything, anything that rises against me because I have put my trust in the Lord because I can feel that peace that he has given me, right? So um, that's what I have here for verse 6. I like to do something at the end of my notes that I like to call wrapping it up. So what I do is just to wrap it all up, wrap up everything that I can, you know, that I learned from this song. Um, I kind of just put it at the end of my notes. I look back, you know, to see all those little um, points that I made. Um, all those bullet points that I made that I learned, things that I learned, and um, what did I learn from this psalm? The Lord is my protector from dangerous or unpleasant situations. I find pleasure and pride in Him. 
He takes away my fear, my shame, and gives me strength. I can lay down to rest at night and trust that He is working in my favor. So usually when you guys see me do a page, a Bible journaling page, um, or a, a process video on my channel, this is the part that I usually usually um, say to you guys, or if you guys follow me on my Instagram, um, you would see me write something on the post and then put the verse or the verses that I studied. And um, this is usually what I write in my post or the part that I say in my process videos. Um, because it's the most important part it's the things that i learned from this but trust me there is a lot behind that you know a lot of um, a lot more studying a lot more, a lot more digging deep and i did a simple um little study for you guys really basically just pick out those verses that you um that you like that stand and stand out to you and look uh, at the different things different parts of the verses and look up words sometimes those definitions even to the simplest words can give you so much meaning uh, and can give you a lot of understanding of the verses so i think that's something that's very important and then take all those little points and just wrap it all up everything you know the most important parts of it and just write it all together and you'll see what you learned you know from the verses so this is just one way that you can study uh the word there's different ways i'm just showing you again just one method and i usually take my notes on a journal on the side like you see me journaling here on the side and then i'll illustrate in my in my um illustrating bible in this case i am going to be illustrating in my illuminated scripture journal so there is going to be a second part to this video i'm calling this um a part one of the of the bible journaling process there's going to be a part two and the part two is um the illustrating part so you guys are going to see that in the next video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and like i said you guys are more than welcome to join me in this 150 days of psalms um, I'm doing one psalm a week because I really want to focus on each psalm and let that, you know, sink in and meditate in the word of God and meditate in this and what I'm learning. So I'm just taking it nice and slow and I'm doing it in, like I said, in my illuminated scripture journal, um, in the book of Psalms, just so that I can really focus on that. So thank you guys again um, for watching and please remember to like share a like with me uh, share the video comment on your favorite way of studying um give me some ideas and um we'll see you guys in the next video when i illustrate right here on chapter three of psalms thank you so much for watching you guys and god bless you guys